Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are on day eight of the 12 days of Christmas series of all of these fun, free sewing projects. And in today's episode video, whatever you wanna call it, we are making a laptop bag. This is, or laptop sleeve rather. This is just a very basic protection for your personal laptop. Um, you could use it for an iPad or a Kindle or whatever you want to put inside of this. That's what you, that's what we're making today. I made mine to fit my MacBook Air. This also fits a MacBook Pro, but if you have a different size um, than mine, I have the 13, 13, the three, it's the 13.3 measurement, the diagonal measurement on the screen. Um, I think that's a pretty standard right now. So my measurements should work for you, but if you want to be sure, you can measure your laptop or just look up the specs online before you cut into your cork or vinyl or leather. Um, this is, like I said, it's plain, it's simple, but you can really customize it. You could do something super fun on the front. Um, if you have a branding iron, you can brand it. You can add a flap, you can add a snap, you can leave it just like I left mine. It's just really simple slide. Here is this one that I made with the little snap. That's what it looks like along the back. So yeah, go nuts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I, yeah, hope that you have fun. Alrighty, so I have all of my pieces cut here and I have um, two, so the front and back I have, it's 10 wide or 13 wide by 10 tall. And then I have two little strips that are gonna go at the very top where the laptop slides in. This is totally optional. I just kind of like having a little bit thicker of a piece at the top. I'm not real sure, it's just a personal preference, but you could totally omit these if you want to. Um, but I cut these one inch wide by third or by 10 to be the same width as my main panels here. And then if you look at this one here, you'll notice that I angled the top. Sorry, my dogs are on neighborhood watch right now. So I angled this down. I put my ruler at the corner up here and then I measured down three quarters of an inch and angled that just so that there's a little bit of difference and you can just easily grab the laptop. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna glue my strips to the top pieces here and then I'm gonna top stitch them. You can also use tape here if you prefer, that is totally up to you. But my glue is handy and it's right here. So that's what I'm going for. And so you want to line up the top edges like so. Now another option is you could line this with um, some cotton on the inside if you wanted a fun little bright print down inside, like a little surprise. You could put a piece of flex foam and then put another piece of cork. So then you'd have two layers on the front and then two layers on the back. That would make it a nice thick padded cover. You can do the flex foam and then a piece of cotton on the inside. You can quilt everything together. You, this is really just a launch pad for you to get creative. And so basically what you wanna do is just get the measurements that'll fit your laptop or your iPad or what you whatever you're making this for and then cut it about a half inch wider on all four sides and that'll give you enough wiggle room to add foam and add quilting and add you know other little fun details that you want to. You can also add a closure, you can add a zipper, you can add a snap, you can add magnets. So again, this is really just the very very basic laptop sleeve to use as a launch pad and go wild with it. Okay, so now I have my two top pieces glued and in place. I'm gonna to go to the machine and I'm just gonna to top stitch right along the top of both of them. So just one eighth seam allowance right across the top. And 
And then what I think I'm gonna do is along this back side, I'm just gonna add another stitching row right here, one eighth from the bottom of this piece. Then it has just a nice little double stitch line detailing. We are here now, we have both of our strips stitched. I went ahead and added my brand and I caught my cork on the back side. you could see, so it kind of marred it up, which is really annoying. But we are going to push forward. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just lay them wrong sides together and then you just clip around these three sides and top stitch. So this project comes together so, so quick. This would not qualify as a scrap buster. That's the only thing. These are pretty big cuts of cork. Um, this would definitely be cheaper to make out of vinyl or like Mora from Emmeline Bags would probably make a really beautiful laptop cover. And yes, yeah, so you can just really customize to your heart's content. All right, now that I've got it clipped, what I'm gonna do is I start here, top right, and I'm gonna really backstitch well here because these two seams are gonna be taking on the brunt of the stress when it's being opened to put the laptop in. So add a lot of backstitching here and here. And I'm gonna stitch down, across the bottom, and then back up. Um, of course, you can round your corners, you can do little bevels, um, you can do whatever you want. So again, keep that in mind as you are thinking of what you want your laptop sleeve to look like. We are all stitched up now, and you can see I have a little bit of overhang. So I'm just gonna trim this up. And then you can finish these raw edges with Aline's Fabric Fusion Glue or Mod Podge, or if you really want to go nuts, you can use some Giardini Edge Coat. This is probably a really good, easy project to practice on because it's nice, long, straight edges. But you could really add a pop of color, like a um, mustard yellow on blue would be really eye-catching. Yep, so this is what it looks like. And then now, let's test her out. There we go. One simple little laptop sleeve. You can see I've got some extra room here. So if I ever upgraded and got a MacBook Pro, I would have no problems reusing this same cover. So there we go, we're all done with day eight of 12 Days of Christmas with that super quick and fun laptop sleeve. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you back here tomorrow for day nine.